Well, I think I became interested in ethics about 10 years ago when I guess it was David Fabry, who was the president of the American Academy of Audiology at that time, put together a task force to uh, look at ethics and conflicts of interest within our profession. And Brian Walden was the chair of that task force, and he asked me to be involved. And I reluctantly accepted. He's a good friend. And I reluctantly accepted. I didn't want to uh, get too involved in something like that. It didn't seem like it was very exciting. And we didn't. We didn't meet very long when I realized that this was really an important topic, and this is an area that we really haven't paid too much attention to uh, in the past. And so uh, I became more involved, and, and uh, we developed a class uh, here at Vanderbilt for our graduate students on uh, professional issues uh, and, and ethics. And in particular, we, we are interested in looking at potential conflicts of interest as it crosses all types of uh, activities. It's not just the practice of audiology, which is probably what we hear about most in terms of our relationships with industry. But it, it is uh, interesting that there are many areas that need to be investigated in terms of education. Uh, we don't even know how many institutions offer a course on ethics or provide any training uh, in in uh, uh, conflicts of interest. We assume that there are programs, but we really don't know that. And, and uh, the other thing is research. I mean, we know that researchers have conflicts of interest as they relate to individuals uh, in industry. But we've not done anything about those things. We haven't done any research in those areas to really document if indeed it's an issue. The only place we have to go for that kind of information is medicine. They've been doing this for years. Uh, they've dealt with this problem for a long, long time. And they know uh, that uh, there is frequent association between physicians and people in industry, especially the drug companies. So they... they uh, uh, have been grappling with this issue for a long time, and so we can get information from them. And then we need to start getting our own information as well. I doubt that it's as frequent uh, in our profession as it is in medicine, uh, but we don't know. And it's something that we need to find out about. It's important. It's uh, Ethics is one of those things that defines us. Uh, it tells us who we are, what we do, uh, and, and it sort of... Uh, uh, confirms uh, the trust that we have with those that we are here to serve. So it's a very important area, and, and uh, uh, I think we, we need to be much more involved in it than we have been in the past. Great. We're a young profession, so it seems like now we've finally gotten to taking care of some of the business that needs to be taken care of. We are a young profession, and, and I, I think the, the positive note is that the American Academy of Audiology has really become involved in the last 10 years. Since that task force report was developed, uh, they have taken it very seriously. And the leadership uh, of today uh, has addressed those issues and has done a lot, I think, to, to minimize uh, a lot of these conflicts that we've had in the past.